Welcome to your Rose Kelly. Uh, hi. What's up? I just came back from visiting Grant. So why the happy face? Celia went to see Grant at her own request. Now, Grant's not telling me exactly what's going on, but I have a feeling this could be very important for his appeal. Interesting, but not very promising. What do you mean? Why not? Jake, I'm afraid I got some news that's going to take the air right out of your balloon. Impossible. Celia and Grant Putnam are getting married. We've both been opposed to this from the start. Would you back out? This reminds me of the old days. We used to hang around all day long. It's this relaxing atmosphere. <laughs> for you, maybe, but try it from my perspective. Cooking later on tables, running around like a crazy person. <laughs> you got a minute? Yeah, that's why I sat down. Good. I'd like to talk to you. I get the feeling that not everything has quite been resolved between us yet. There's a sentence. Uh, spoken like a true attorney, right? Uh, I see, I was always under the impression that one of our problems was we talked too much. Yeah, until it was over, then we stopped completely. Which is why I feel there are still some things unsaid. Silence was kind of nice for a while. And now? It should be easier. Yeah, that's what I think. I mean, the emotional investment's not the same. I guess there's only one way to prove that theory. How's that? Start talking. <laughs> and you said that you felt there were some things left unsaid, like what? Like this business about my defending Blackie when you were so torn up about Lou. I realize now that that's what turned you against me. Only momentarily. You were just doing what you felt you had to do. Yeah, too bad I didn't do it well enough. Well, don't be ridiculous. We all did everything we could to help Blackie. In the end, he was convicted because he wanted to be punished. Oh, no, a bad excuse. It still bothers you that much? Only in the middle of the night, after the nightmare. Only when I'm alone. Well, there's really nothing that he could do to stop whatever he was so hell-bent on. Huh? I'm starting to believe that self-destruction self is kind of a logical step some people take after a tragedy. You go on. You don't punish yourself. Hmm? I did. I did after Lou died. I felt somehow that it was my fault and that I should be punished. And to tell you the truth, I think that, that that's why we broke up rather than... You're representing Blackie. So is it over? What? This need you felt to punish yourself. Yeah, it's been over for a long time. Well, if that's the only reason that we broke up, maybe there's a chance we can change things between us. Yeah, I guess there's that chance. What are the odds? I mean, around figures. I'm gonna have to think about it. I never thought I was the kind of guy to wait for a woman. You probably never had to. Oh. You're right, I never did. <laughs> so how does it feel? Feels better than I thought. Huh, another lesson learned. Right here in Kelly's <laughs> diner. The legend continues. Well, I do have a whole pile of dishes. Do me a favor. Don't make me wait too long. I'll do my best. Robert Scorpio, police commissioner. 